Hey guys, what's going on? You're with Liam and Little Oski. You're in episode one, Catch and Cook. Chittle Brothers. Here we go. We've got all our fresh ingredients. We've got lettuce, capsicum, avocado, tomato, lime. My nice kamikoto set of knives there. Beautiful. Cheese, red cabbage or purple cabbage, red onion, ginger and orange. And there's our flathead right there. So if you couldn't tell already, from the ingredients, we're going to do flathead fish tacos and we're going to roll the clip of me catching it right now. So here we go. Hey you go. So once you've caught your flathead, we want to finally dice this now. So I'll do that. So once you've diced your fish, we want to get rid of the husk or the skin of this ginger. And then we want to grate that really fine as well. So we want about two teaspoons worth of ginger out of this. So let's get that done. So now that's all diced up. It's probably a bit much, so we want to half that. And we'll save that for later, another time. So we need a bit of this bad boy, cayenne pepper, ginger, well we'll get that out of the way now. See ya. Oh, a little break. Next tip, once we've got all that ready, we'll get the board out of the way because we need a new board. I've just got the new board, get the cabbage ready, peel that nice dry bit off because that's going to be... got ginger all over the camera now. Alright, and then now I'm just going to finally slice this into long strips and we're going to get our bowl, clean bowl, oh, a bit of Oski here I think in there, from the little fella. Oh, right, what do you do? Alright, we'll change knives, so we want to go to a big chopper dobber. So once you've got your cabbage all stripped up, you want to grab a bowl, you want to dump all that in there. Well, that's a lot. Then, 
and grab some white vinegar and then smash that in there. So go until it kind of touches the bottom layer of it. That's heaps. So we'll add our sugar, just about a tablespoon or thereabouts. I don't like to use too much, so chuck that in. Then we'll go to our salt. So we'll add our salt, about half a tablespoon again. Smash that in. And then just a few generous amounts of cracked pepper. So we got our salt, sugar, cracked pepper, and our cabbage in the, sitting in the vinegar. So we're gonna give that a quick stir. So while you've given that a quick stir, you wanna do about a stir every five minutes while you're doing in between the cooking, getting all the cabbage with the same sort of flavor, texture. You can see that the vinegar started to absorb the cabbage color as well. So that's what you want. And you still get that nice crunch of cabbage in your taco. So we'll chuck that in the fridge now. All right, so now onto our salsa. We're gonna start with the tomatoes, so I'll get them chopped up right now. So once that tomato's all chopped up, diced up, we wanna chuck it in the bowl, and then we wanna work onto our capsicum and then red onion. So that's done. We'll chuck that in the bowl as well, and then we'll move on to our red onion, and then I'll show you a quick tip how to cut a red onion real fast. Neatly diced and really easy to handle. All right, so first thing, you just wanna chop it straight in half. Then you want to lay it like this, and then you want to do long slices all the way to the butt or the, where the root of the onion would be, without cutting all the way through. You want to maintain about two or three mils between each slice. Also works really good for brown onions, so it stops the crying reaction by keeping the root or the butt intact of the onion. Once you've got all those slices, as you can see, without cutting the base, you wanna keep that together, and then you wanna work sideways now. And look how beautiful that comes out, guys. Looks awesome. And then you, once you start getting to the top, hard to grip, flip it over, you've got that diced area to work on. And then you can just get close to the end, Chopping boards moving all over the shop. There you go. All finely diced, that will break up. Nice sized pieces. Perfect for our chunky salsa anyway. All right, have a look at that. I'll get this one done. That's all chopped up. We're gonna chuck that in the bowl as well with all the tomato and capsicum. Then we're gonna microwave our orange because that helps get the juice out. That's gonna be our flavor or dressing I guess, and then we've got this sad looking parsley we're gonna chuck in too. It is pretty sad looking. Anyways, I'm gonna get into that. Don't want smashing big chunk of parsley as you're trying to enjoy a nice salsa. So you want that fine, nice fine little fresh kicks in there. That's what that's gonna give you. That's perfect. That's what we want. Boom, microwave. Ooh. About 15 seconds because, oh shit, not a minute. Oh, stop. We'll go 30, we'll just time it. I forgot how to use it. And once that's done, we're going to smash it into the salsa, smash that in, mix it all up. We're going to add pink salt, pepper to flavour. Lucky there's no pips, just smash it. Yum, that looks amazing. Smells so good too. So we'll just add our salt and pepper to flavor, however you like it, however much you want. And we'll give this a stir with a fork, not my hands obviously. Once that's all in, stir it up, nice. You got the sweetness of the orange, the salt, the pepper, you got your onion, you got a little bit of freshness from that parsley in there. So give it a taste test, see how you go. Need a bit more, oh that's nice. Oh, need a lot more. Yeah, that's damn good. It's the way we want it, nice and sweet, perfect. Obviously we're not gonna use that much with these tiny little bowls. So I'm add a little bit more because I love it. So I can have some more during the week or 
tomorrow morning. So, now we can get on to cooking the fish, smashing that out. Stick of butter or lick of butter, get it in there. We wanna grab half of that ginger, cause that's a bit too much. Love ginger. I just gotta get a spatula, cause I forgot one, I already started filming. So, grab one real quick. Also, I thought while I'm getting this up to heat, I'll let you know why I use butter instead of oil, because the oil will rob the fish of its own natural oils and its own natural flavors. So you don't want to, very mild, especially in a fish taco uh, recipe, you don't want to be killing the fish flavor, because there's not going to be a whole lot of it kicking about with when you've got the salsa, all the other ingredients mixed in with it. So that ginger, you don't want to cover it too much, that's why I'm going to use half again. And flatheads are such a beautiful fish to eat you really want to keep that flavor. So that's why I use butter and really light spices. Well, when I say that, ginger is actually pretty strong, so it's cayenne pepper, but they add a massive amount of taste and flavor that I just love in the fish taco. So that's why I'm doing it. All right, that started to get a bit of heat into it. So we're ready for our flathead. Chuck that in, smash it in. And this works beautiful for most pelagics as well, this recipe, so your mackerel, your kingfish, um, even Chinaman, big cods, like your spotted cod, spotted rock cod. So once our fish is starting to heat up, we're gonna add our cayenne pepper. And this again is to your taste. I love it hot, so I'm smashing a lot on. Still cooking, still got a bit to go. I'm gonna cut up this lettuce. Once we cut up that avo, then we're set to start dishing out our tacos, set it all out. Beautiful, smells so good. All right, let's cut up this lettuce. That's all sliced up, ready to sort it out. That's all cooked. When you know it's cooked, it starts breaking up. I've turned the heat off now. It's all breaking up perfectly, still nice and soft. Just the way you want it. Don't want to overcook it, smells delicious. Now we're ready to serve. Now if you didn't forget, like I almost did, that's still in the fridge. After we've done a few stirs, got that, it's got a beautiful sweet taste, I already had a bit off camera. So you want to add a little bit of that to each taco as well. Let's get into it. Boom, all done. Love it. Damn. This was a bit hard to follow in the video. I know it's my first video of a catch and cook, um, so I'll be leaving the recipe in the description. Looks amazing, can't wait to try it. So the only thing next is to enjoy it with your best mate. Oh, come on, stop being a scab. You got tacos right here, bros.